They're lined up. And they're off for today's feature race here at Erdy Tenants Lager, British Stallion Studs EBF Rothesay Stakes, the sixth running of this uh, listed event and uh, out well. Minister for Magic towing them through the opening furlong ahead of Angel Power running in second. Then the Irish Challenger, the Blue Brilliant along the inside in third. My Astra in the yellow colours is in fourth. Within behind those twisted reality and Akeloes, and at the back end of the field, magnificence in the dark green without wider Louisa Cassati. Continuing their run over in the back straight, and they're being led by Minister for Magic in the hands of David Allen, around about a length to the good. Over the Nottingham Sherokes uh, third, Angel Power, she races in second. The Blue Brilliant is currently running in third, and then My Astra up towards the outside in fourth in the hands of Tom Markond. Another length and a half back then to Twisted Reality. First start today for trainer David Minusier. And then a little wider out is Akeloise, who was second in the city and suburban down at Epsom last time. Sitting in second last at the moment, Magnificence, and a further neck back to Louisa Cassati as they prepare to turn left-handed out of the back straight, and they now begin the descent on towards home. And up ahead, it is Minister for Magic, showing in front, but with a slightly reduced advantage now as Angel Power closes the gap between between herself and the leader down to just half a length. A length and a half back in third is the Blue Brilliant along the inside of My Astra. Within behind those are now shaken up Twisted Reality. Akeloese in the green and yellow colours starts to come a little closer. Further back to Louisa Cassati and Magnificence is struggling at the back of the field. They make the run down inside the final three furlongs. Angel Power in the blue and white now going on narrowly as Minister for Magic begins to feel the heat. Here now to the outside is My Astra who travels strongly and then away to the right is the Blue Brilliant. Akeloese is striving to get on terms with them as Tom Marquand and My Astra hit the front and bound away on the approach to the final furlong. My Astra sent about a work and quickens clear to in second place, battling away Angel Power in company with the Blue Brilliant, but they're deep inside the final furlong and once Tom Marquand said go, this was all over in the twinkling of an eye and My Astra, this half-sister to my Oberon, uh, runs right away uh, to run out a most impressive winner of the Rotterdam Stakes. The Br Blue Brilliant at along the inside of Angel Power. They were second and third, uh, chased a few lengths back by Louisa Cassati. Tom McQuan joins me now then after winning on My Astra in the feature race here at Air. Visually, that looked a bit of the wish factor. Yeah, it was a really good performance. Um, actually, coming up here today, I thought we definitely haven't seen the best of it yet. And um, I think that sort of statement probably couldn't stand in place for another run now because, um, you know, she picked them up really easily. And I think, we, we went pretty quick on pretty tough ground and, and the race did start to just fall apart a little bit at the two and a half when horses were getting yeah. tired but um, just, the went, just the way that she went through the gears and galloped to the line was impressive and she just really feels like she's come together for a winter. Couldn't say whether it fell apart or not, she looks like yeah, a group, well, yeah. group winner waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah I mean look, you'd, you'd certainly like to think so and, and it's what we thought of her last year. Um, so yeah, look, she remains exciting and I think the best is yet to come. You know her so well. How has she? How has she been this year compared to last year? Uh, she's definitely strengthened a lot, and and she was a filly that was quite hard on herself. Like after she won at Yarmouth, she obviously went to Newmarket, and she was she was keen and just she got a bit racy for a while. But she's really done well for a, for a quiet winter, and um, look, that was a good run at Kempton. It was a mile and ran a sharp enough track for her, and she just struggled with it all a little bit mentally more than anything, and um, it was probably a big learning curve for her that day. So. She's come on plenty, and um, yeah, at least she's, she's certainly going the right way. And although she's won on quicker ground, she's, this is more a preferred surface. Yeah, she definitely enjoys a bit of dig. I think as, as long as it's forgiving, she's fine. And um, yeah, when I wanted her that day at Yarmouth, it was it was as, as quick as Yarmouth gets, and she felt like she was rattling her teeth along. So um, yeah, it will be, I, I suppose William will be looking for anywhere that's good ground or, or worse as yeah. such, and um, she'll be absolutely fine. And a mile and a quarter rather than a mile? Yeah, look, de definitely a mile and a quarter. She just seems to find stride and and um, just be able to roll into a race that bit easier than over the mile. Well done, Tom. Nice to see you here. Yeah. Good to be back. <laughs> yeah, good.